welcome to STEM Fun Friday. And boy, do we have an exciting activity for you to do today. Our activity is to make a catapult. And Encyclosaurus Rex here told me that a catapult was a, was a weapon used in ancient battles. And armies could launch stones or spears or even set things on fire and launch that or all kinds of other projectiles at their enemies. And our activity is based on these two books. For the older kids, we have Extreme, How to Catapult a Castle, Machines That Brought Down the Battlements. And for the younger kids, we have the story, Three, Two, One, Go. And both of these are AR books, and both of these you can find in our very own Mediview Elementary School Library. So if you enjoy making our catapult today, be sure to check out the books that go along with it. How do you make a catapult? Well, you're going to need 10 jumbo popsicle sticks, some rubber bands, firing power, that would be things like marshmallows or fuzzy pom-pom balls or pencil cap erasers, maybe ball, little balls of Play-Doh or cotton balls, anything that you can launch. A bottle cap and sticky dots or another strong adhesive. Adhesive is like a glue, but it's gotta be strong. Step one, cut out the notches. This slide has a grown-up alert on it because you might need a grown-up's help for this step. Use a pair of scissors to make two V-shaped notches on either side of two jumbo popsicle sticks in the same place on both sticks. You see in the picture what those little notches look like and then set it aside. Please make sure that you let a grown-up help you with this step. We don't want you to get cut. Step two, stack them up. Take the eight other popsicle sticks. Remember, you cut, you had 10, and you cut notches in two of them. So that's 10, take away two. You have eight popsicle sticks left. So you're gonna take those other eight sticks and stack them on top of each other and hold them together with rubber bands. You can see where the arrows are pointing to show you what that looks like. Then you're gonna take one of the popsicle sticks that you cut the little notches out of and you're gonna slide it through the stack under the very top stick and makes like a plus sign right there. Next step, you're going to take that stack, you're going to flip it over. So now the notch stick that you just pushed through is going to be sitting close to the bottom. You're going to lay the second notch stick on top of the stack and you're going to secure those two sticks with the notches together with a rubber band like you can see right here in the picture. And the notches help keep the rubber bands in place. Oh, it's almost time. Next, you're going to use sticky dots or another adhesive to attach a bottle cap to the popsicle stick. And then it is time to fire away. I made a catapult. Uh, now what? Well, I'll tell you what, it is time to do some science. So let's do science. First up, you're gonna make a prediction or a hypothesis, which is a guess, right? Which object do you think is gonna fly the farthest? Next up, step two, you're gonna do a test or an experiment, and you're gonna launch each type of object. Step three, you're gonna record your results. Anytime you launch an object, you're gonna measure how far each type went. 
How far did it fly? And you're going to record your results. You're going to write down the measurements. And then the next step, what did you find out? Which one of your objects flew the farthest? Were you right when you made a hypothesis or a guess at the beginning before you tried to launch any? Can you find other objects that you can launch and measure? I'd love to hear all about your experiment. So if you give it a try, make sure you send us your results. This activity is based on the books, How to Catapult a Castle and 3, 2, 1, Go. And be sure if you enjoyed this activity, be sure to check these books out and other fabulous stories in our Metaview Elementary School Library. And tune in next Friday for another fun activity that you can try at home. And we'll see you next time.